Hi, this is Alfred Weaver, Professor of Computer Science at the University of Virginia, and it's my pleasure to drive this interview today. Our guest is Dr. Raquel Romano, who works at Google in Mountain View, California. And Raquel, we thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you. Let me just jump right in here with the rather obvious question of why do you think diversity in computing is important? So I think that diversity uh, is a bit of an overused word, and it's really important to think about what the absence of diversity looks like. And to me, uh, why is that important? Well, imagine yourself working in an environment where you maybe have very strong um, intellectual resonance with your your colleagues because you have the same interests, you've read the same papers, you're working on the same project. Um, uh, however, that you have absolutely no um, cultural resonance um, because you are, say, the only one of a, in a particular group. And um, I think that uh, until you really imagine what that's like, uh, it's hard to uh, imagine why diversity is important. But um, you know, these are people that are you're looking to for uh, professional um, validation, and um, we know that in workplaces, um, it's things that are social. Um, there are there are many discussions that are don't stay completely in the realm of the intellectual, and um, it's important to develop relationships with coworkers. So I feel like um, having a, a workplace that has no diversity can have a strong impact on the ability of, of people to interact um, professionally in a, in a way that um, they can thrive. So that, to me, looking at it that way is, is very useful, especially to people who haven't really given it thought before. Okay, and, and I think... Uh... Research shows that you can generally get a better result if you have a diverse design team than if the team is just homogeneous. Um, is that your perception in the workplace? Um, I think that that research is very interesting, um, but sometimes people have a hard time um, mapping that to their own um, experiences and their work groups um, because it seems very abstract. Uh, it's not that I don't think that that's, and I think that's a, uh, those are valid studies, um, but it's really concrete examples that help people see that. Um, so I think um, it's important for um, for companies and universities and departments to actually look at examples of where um, a team that doesn't have one single monolithic culture has done things in a way that's different and has been successful and and really pick apart, you know, why did this work so well? Um, what were the team dynamics here that made this work well? Um, and I think that will would drive home the message more easily to um, organizations. Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> since uh, Google is a big and modern company, uh, what is Google doing to try to encourage diversity in the workplace? Um, well, I think the single most effective thing that Google does from my personal viewpoint is just they're hiring amazing, um, brilliant women engineers. And I feel like I'm a direct beneficiary of that. You know, the day I came here, uh, I just immediately met a number of women engineers and felt like, wow, this is a place where it is just not unusual to be uh, a woman who has like deep technical interests and you know, a PhD in computer science and a certain way of thinking uh, quantitatively that not every work environment um, has such a, a strong thriving population of, of women engineers. So um, I really think that that's the most amazing thing it's doing and it's continuing to do. And I know historically um, and, and currently, Google and uh, many other companies, you know, really focus hard on how can they make sure that they continue to do that. Uh, it makes it sound like Google is a great place to work. Um, uh, do you have any um, aspects of your personal history that uh, help explain why this topic is of special interest to you? Sure. Um, you know, I think uh, I've evolved as I've come through you know, undergraduate, graduate school, postdoc to my current um, work here at Google. Uh, as an undergrad, I almost thought that gender 
diversity was sort of unimportant. Um, you know, I was a math major, and I just didn't really give that a lot of thought. I thought, you know, that shouldn't matter. And I think a lot of women maybe do think um, that that just shouldn't matter, and so therefore it doesn't matter. But I feel that as I matured and actually toward the end of grad school, um, some fellow engineers um, at MIT formed a group of women students, and now that you know these groups are at many campuses, and I just suddenly realized that I had um, it was great to be surrounded by a bunch of women who um, had all these interests, and it's just something that until I experienced it, I hadn't missed it, and from then I've kind of looked for that at every place that I've gone to, um, looked for that community because I know that um, it's just it's just very enjoyable for me to be able to have those technical conversations, not only with men, but with women. It's, uh, you know, it's a relief to be able to do that and, um, and not think, oh, you know, my women friends I have, I have only social interest with and my, um, my male colleagues are the ones who I have intellectual interest. It's very, that's a very strange artificial separation that doesn't need to be there. Okay, got it. Uh, <clears throat> it sounds like... Um uh, some of the the efforts to encourage women, and I'm thinking of, for example, the Grace Murray Hopper Conference on Women in Computing, that that those might be very um, helpful and effective about encouraging technical contributions of women in the workplace. What do you think? Yes, definitely. I really didn't even know about Grace Hopper until my postdoc. And um, during that time, uh, I was encouraged to go. My, uh, the, I was working for Lawrence Berkeley Lab, and they said, oh, sure, you should go to this thing. And I thought, oh, okay, fine. I don't really know what it is. And really, I wish I had been going to that since, since my first day of graduate school when I first got in, involved in computer science. And any woman who is um, embarking on a computer science career should attend at least once. And you get different things out of it at different stages in your career. And later on, you're probably contributing a lot and helping others um, take something away from it. But I think it's an amazing organization. And um, I always try to encourage people to go who have not experienced it. I know that the uh, female faculty and graduate students in my department are just thrilled to go to that meeting and, and have universally good things to say about it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. let me ask you one last question. Um, so this whole issue that we have on uh, gender diversity in computing, there's a lot of statistics in the articles that try to explain where we are with regard to uh, the degree of, of a female participation in the information technology workforce. But let me ask you to just look in your own crystal ball and speculate about where you think we'll be in a decade. So I'm pretty hopeful that we will continue to see women pursuing computer science. And one of the things that makes me hopeful is just uh, the the women that I know who are in this field, who are, you know, leading um, the way and serving as mentors and providing themselves as good examples and um, actually creating these work environments that are more and more friendly um, toward toward women. So I'm I'm hopeful about that. I don't know what the rates will be, um, but uh, I I do I do think that um, it's it's going to be better, say, for um, the next generation. And that will be better for me because <laughs> that's one thing I tell you know, younger students. I want you to join this workplace because not only do I think that you know, if you're interested in, in these areas that you'll enjoy it, but um, your presence will make it more enjoyable for all of us. All right. Well, on that very optimistic note, I thank you for taking the time to do this interview with us and wish you the very best in your own work, and uh, hats off to Google for their efforts at trying to increase gender diversity. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.